Hallelujah, saints of God, you are blessed and highly favored in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that your voice will be heard. Your voice will be heard. You will not be silenced in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray together from Ezekiel chapter 19, verse 9. New Living, I mean, New King James Version says, they put him in a cage with chains and brought him to the king of Babylon. They brought him in nets that his voice should no longer be heard on the mountains of Israel. I take that again. They put him in a cage with chains and brought him to the king of Babylon. They brought him in nets that his voice should no longer be heard on the mountains of Israel. The only reason they put him in a cage, the only reason they put, they put chains on him, they chained him, and they brought him in a net, in nets to the king of Babylon so that they can silence him, so that his voice will no more be heard on the mountains of Israel. Do you know one of the reasons the devil brought that sickness is to silence you? Poverty to silence you. And satanic attacks to silence you. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Any trick, any trap, any agenda of the enemy to silence you, to cage you, to chain you. Mazaka, let it backfire against them. Let it backfire against them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, one man, they brought him in a cage with chains to the king of Babylon. They brought him in nets so that his voice will no more be heard on the mountains of Israel. I pray for you, every wickedness of the wicked or assignment against your life, let it come to an end. Any man, any woman or assignment to silence your voice. Let his voice be silenced in the name of Jesus. Let the wicked be silenced in the grave. Do you know why there was breakaway in that church? So that your voice will no more be heard. That rebellion was so that your voice will no more be heard. Let it backfire against them in the name of Jesus Christ. Every witchcraft activities against you to silence you, either to silence you in the grave or to silence you in the physical or satanic prison. In the name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above every name, let it backfire against them. Let it backfire against them. As I clap my hands, I command it to backfire against the enemy in the name of Jesus. One man they brought in in cage with chains to the king of Babylon. They brought him in nets so that his voice will no more be heard on the mountain of Israel. What wickedness? What kind of wickedness is that? Every wickedness against your life, against your family, against your children. I command them to die in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Let the wicked be silenced in the grave in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They send armed robbers against you just to silence so that your voice will no more be heard. Which means your voice, your voice is something important. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May your voice be heard. May your voice be heard on the mountains of Israel, on the mountains. Let your voice be heard on the mountains in the name of Jesus Christ. Your voice shall be heard. In that business, your voice shall be heard. In the political arena, your voice shall be heard. In the ministry, your voice shall be heard. Upon the mountains, may your voice be heard in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus Christ. Most holy name we pray. Amen. Amen.